we clap for Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you. A quick one. Mark chapter 13. Verse 32. First of all, you need to ask yourself this question. What are you doing here on earth? Are you really serving the purpose of your creation? Because there are so many things that are misleading our destiny. The purpose of God is supreme. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to become, think about the time. This is the question. Everyone, even those who are watching this program, wherever you are, you can ask yourself this question. What are you doing here on earth? Are you really serving the purpose of God? If the answer is no, where is your focus? Who has taken away your focus? They stand for everything. Think about the time that you don't know. Let's go to the book of Mark 13, verse 32. But about the day, or hour, no one knows, not even the angel in heaven or the son, but only the father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. Listen to verse 34. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and put his servant in charge, each with their assigned task, and tell them, and tell the one at the door to keep watch. 35, therefore, keep watch because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the roster closes or at dawn, 36. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. 37. What I said to you, I said to everyone, watch. Who is talking? Who is talking to you? This is Jesus. The word is not my word. It is Jesus. What are you doing as a human being created in the image of God? The Bible says that about the day or that day or hour, no one knows. I'll be very brief. No one knows the day or the hour when your master will come back to this life. I want to take his parable in verse 34 to shed more light on this message. Jesus said it is like a man going away. He leaves his house and put his servant in charge. Each with the, the assigned task it's like the life that you are calling. Someone has given you this life to say, I want you to use this life in this way. I want you to do this for me. If you ask that person, when are you coming back? Say, no, you just do the job. The time or the day or the hour, forget about that one. What I want is you to do this job. And there he goes. This is why people of God, we are not ready to leave this world. 
Because we have never, never accepted this task from Jesus to save his purpose. To live according to his instruction. Because he never created all of us to be whatever we have become today. He created you and me for a purpose. And he came back again to restore the relationship between you and him. So that you continue saving his purpose. And this is what he said. No one knows the day, the hour. He gave them this task and tell them, tell the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight. No one knows when will be the last day here on earth. Your last day could be through death. This is why you need to prepare yourself. People are dying every day. No one knows what is next. But my message is this question I'm asking you. What are you doing here on earth? Are you saving the purpose of God in your life? Or you are just saving your own thing? You can speak the language of, you know, the Bible. It doesn't mean that you are saving the purpose of God. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. Sleeping doesn't mean that you cover yourself in the night, no. What you are doing is like you are sleeping spiritually. Your focus must be on that assignment. Which assignment? To worship him. No, me, I'm not sleeping. We are talking about spiritual sleeping, meaning your focus is more on the flesh than what? Spiritual life. Are you saving the purpose of your creation? Are you really doing what you are supposed to do here on earth? Are you satisfying your, your creator that what you are doing is in line with his purpose in your life? Because he has given you that assignment. Where are you going to be? Because This is why the work of your day must be done accordingly to the will of God in your life. Do it wholeheartedly. When you sit down, sometimes, you know, you look here, no there, you see, you can't see peace. Whether you are eating or not eating, money cannot give you peace. Marriage cannot give you peace. Your job cannot give you peace. What can make you to live a peaceful life and joyful life is Jesus himself in you. If truly you are serving the purpose of your creation. Praise the Lord. People, you know, of this world, they don't care about the last day. They know their last destination is hell. But you as a child of God, think about that day when your Savior will come back. Finish your kasa nga Jesus mulechita. Finish your kasa nga mulechita. Think about that last day. As long as you are not thinking about that day, your life is in danger. Your life is what? It's in danger. We have seen this life. We have tested this one. We need to test that one there. Where there's nothing like, you know, there's no water here. There's no electricity. There's no what, what and what. There you enjoy life. 
Are you really serving the purpose of your creation? We grow spiritually through the relationship we keep because we are serving the purpose of God. And God is the one who is behind our spiritual growth. And this is the only way that you can see the love of God in your life if truly you are serving the purpose of God. I know there are so many things that we need here on earth, but it doesn't mean that all your energy, your effort must go to whatever you need. Think about the one who is on the way. He gave you this love and said, go, I want you to be this on earth. And there you are. You are doing your own things. Okay, yes, Ungari Shirele, Rwave Ngate Mwafika Lero Nibana. Hmm? The Lofe Ngele Wati, yes, Rwave Ngate Mwafika Lero Nibana. Nangwave Ngamu Mwanati, oh, yes, we are left Minoko, Nibana Nibana Ngate Mwafika. Shira Umana Kwa Ta Agenda Pano. You have your own agenda. Hmm? Tana Tukwa Ta Ma Agenda. No, Kwisa Kwa Ngo Tukwa Kwa Tenshi. Kudiru Mwaka Pati. Nge Fofi Adilo Kwa Ti, yes, why is that? Ah, Evo Chava. But if you are serving the purpose of God, you'll be aware and you'll be happy that our Savior is what? He's coming. Hmm? Working, doing whatever you are doing. There's nothing wrong. You need to work. There's no sweat without sweat. But what is important is the purpose of your creation. Are you really serving the purpose of your creation? If the answer is no, think twice. Because there is life after this life. Think what? Are you ready to receive Jesus today? Which one do you want? To continue living like this or Jesus to come back? Eh? Are you sure of what you are saying? You are ready for Jesus to come back? What about that project? Eh? That agenda. Praise the Lord. If you are ready to live, you know, or continue existing here on earth, be ready to serve his purpose, not your own purpose. Remember, the life that you are calling is not your own life. You were given this life. Go and utilize this life. Go and win souls for me. Go and represent me. Instead of representing Jesus, you are representing your own agenda. Ask yourself this question. If today Jesus were to come, are you going to see him and be happy? This is the question. Thank you.